The topic I wanted to talk about was something that I, it's something that I personally try to uh, focus on. It's a personal focus for me, for myself, for my own personal self-improvement and development. And it's also something that I put a lot of emphasis on with my students. And people were requesting that a session should be recorded about this topic, and that is just etiquette and behavior. The basic word that we learned a long time ago called adab, etiquette, behavior, proper behavior, proper conduct, manners, right? And that's a really huge topic. But I do think that we can at least address the basic elements of it by identifying a few key areas of focus. You know, the Prophet ﷺ gives us the golden rule, right? And that is, love for your brother what you would love for yourself. And that's an, uh, that's a, a, an iman marker, right? That's a gauge of your own iman, your own faith, right? You treat somebody like you'd like to be treated. You know, the Prophet when he defines a Muslim, he says, Man salim al muslimuna min lisani. Other believers, other Muslims are safe from his tongue and from his hand. <laughs> Meaning a person knows that a Muslim is somebody that a person knows. This person will not verbally or physically abuse me. They know that. They're sure about that fact. And so treating others as you would like to be treated. Golden principle. It's a principle to live by. That's what the Prophet says, right? If you can't say something good, then? Don't say it all. If you can't say something good, then don't say it at all. Man samata naja. Person who learns to just be quiet sometimes, a person won. He's a winner. FTW, for the win. Being quiet equals for the win. Right? And that's something we have to learn to develop. And then I specifically was addressing this specific issue. This I feel is a huge problem. I'm talking within like the whole religious sphere, kind of in the practicing circles. I think this is becoming a huge problem. And that huge problem is, we feel like, you know, real talk. I'm just speaking the truth. I'm just saying it like it is. Right? That somehow speaking the truth, saying it like it is, and especially if you're talking on some religious moral high ground, then it's okay to disregard people's feelings. Like whatever. Like, brother, I'm just saying it like it is. I'm just speaking the truth. Understand one thing. Speaking the truth or saying it like it is or just because you're talking about something mildly religious or spiritual, spiritually inclined, that does not give you a license to hurt somebody else's feelings. That does not give you a license to treat somebody else inappropriately. That is, does not give you permission to degrade and to put down someone. Because that's still an inappropriate. Unacceptable. The Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, people say, oh, قُلِ الْحَقِّ وَلَوْ كَانَ مُرًّا Speak the truth even if it's bitter. You know what's interesting about that? Speak the truth even when it's bitter. Alright? Bitter taste, how do you know something's bitter? When it's in somebody else's mouth, can you tell if it's bitter or not? How do you know if something's bitter? When it's in your mouth. Say the truth even when it's bitter, even when you don't like it. Speak the truth. Where, where, where did we get this from? Speak the truth even if somebody else don't like it. That's easy to do. There ain't nothing hard about doing that. Say the truth even when you don't like it. Even when you don't like the consequences of it. Even when you don't agree with the outcome of it. It doesn't favor your position. Still say the truth. You understand? There's a big difference. And we have no, absolutely no perspective of this today. It's like we feel entitled. I gotta say it like it is. No, you don't actually. Nobody cares about your opinion. Hashtag, nobody cares. <laughs> All right? Nobody cares. But really, in reality, and I'm being very serious, when your opinion is harming people, hurting people's feelings, is offending people, you know, your opinion is best kept to yourself at that point. There are moments, there are times to say things honestly and truthfully, but take example. Don't, don't, don't establish your, president, your precedence, don't establish your standard as someone else or somebody else or yourself, but look at the example and the precedence of the Messenger of Allah, Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. How would he handle that situation? He was kind, he was generous, he was benevolent, he was gracious. You know what grace is? Graciousness? A grace we completely lack any type of grace today. He was gentle. It's like, it's, it's like he, 
you know, even when he was criticizing you, he'd lay, your, he'd lay his hand on you. He'd put his arm around your shoulder and then tell you what you were doing wrong. He'd touch your chest and make dua for you when he told you you had said something inappropriate. That's who he was. And then also take into consideration he's a messenger of Allah. He's and more often than not, he's older than the person that he's talking to. A lot of those considerations. And this, and, and ironically, this type of, a di this issue is more prevalent amongst younger people. A young buck, attended a few classes, head strong, is gonna go spit the truth, gonna go spit some fire, and that's it, just light the place up. No, no, no. That's not what our deen tells us to do, that's not what the Qur'an tells us to do, and that's not what the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi taught us to do. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala praises people who are gentle and who are kind, who are loving and compassionate. The Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam tells us to live as brothers, to be caring and to be considerate and to be compassionate. So this adab, this etiquette, this mannerism, this is very important, this is a valuable lesson. Because we live in a culture where it's of no consideration. Being ignorant, being rude, being abrasive, being obnoxious, is being awesome. And what that does is that just co compounds together. And next thing you know, you just have an, an ugly, ugly person. And I don't mean physically, I don't mean outwardly, I don't mean in appearance. In behavior, you have a hideous person. A person with hideous, repulsive behavior. Their words are vile. Their conduct and their behavior would make you just, just want to leave the room. You ever been around somebody like that? And more tragically, have you ever been that person? Right? So we really, really need to check ourselves. Always, always play it back in your head. Would you be okay with somebody saying that to you? Am I about to hurt somebody's feelings? Am I about to just run somebody over? Look at them in the, in the rearview mirror. You ran somebody over. Roadkill. That's a human being's dignity. That is... A human being's dignity. The Messenger of Allah, and I'll end with this. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he points at the Kaaba. And he takes oaths that the blood, the honor, the wealth, and the dignity, the self-respect of a Muslim is more sacred than you are. He's saying this to what? The Kaaba. Can you imagine? Right? You go for Hajj. You go for Umrah, you're standing in the Kaaba and you see somebody go over there and wipe a booger on the Kaaba. No, no, I'm being very serious right now. Can you imagine somebody doing that? What would your reaction be? The slap. <laughs> right? It's, this young man deserves a slap. He had obviously has not learned any manners. This is the house of Allah, this is Baytullah, it's the Kaaba. How dare you do that? Right? Let alone say something foul. Let alone do something nasty there. Right? But when somebody else disrespects another human being, invades their privacy, tramples all over their feelings and their emotions, disgraces them and humiliates them in public, that is worse than that person that was disrespecting the Kaaba. We have lost that perspective. Respect for people. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Give us the ability to treat others as we would prefer to be treated. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the most noble, excellent character based on modeled after the character and the conduct of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.